idea that you can't take anybody lightly, is that something that you guys learn even more after the way that the game on Sunday played out? Uh, I feel like, I, I don't know, I felt like that uh, the whole week. Like, once we got out there, I just felt like something was different. Uh, like, we wasn't at our best or whatnot, but I feel like we just took them lightly than we should have. Uh, like I said, we can't come in this this Thursday with the same mindset. Uh, we're going to be fine. Right? We move past it. Right? Again, we're looking forward to this week. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to State of Steelers. Welcome back to another film breakdown. Today, we're going to be talking about Deontay Johnson. He's the quote-unquote wide receiver one for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's been dealing with a hamstring injury earlier this year. We're looking at his film today. He's been known as the guy that gets the most separation on this team. And to be honest with you guys, I think he may have lost a step. Let's break it down, and you guys let me know in the comments section. On um, this play here, he's just going to be running a, a go up the seam. And Jawan Bentley, number eight for the New England Patriots, is going to be covering him. He is the middle linebacker in the center of the field. And the problem with this is he is a Vince Williams type linebacker. He's drafted by New England Patriots back in 2018, had a 40 of around 467. Not a speed guy, not at all. This guy is definitely probably equivalent to like an Alandon Roberts. And he's going to cover Deontay Johnson, not just on this play, but he covers him one-on-one -on -one a couple of times in this game. I mean, Deontay Johnson is open there, uh, NFL open. I just feel that, you know, a receiver with such great separation going up against a slower linebacker, and this should be gone. And I think that Mitch Trubisky missed on this play. He should have thrown the ball to Deontay Johnson. Uh, I just think that there should have been way more separation here. But yeah, that ball should have been thrown to Deontay Johnson over uh, this linebacker, but Mr. Trubisky doesn't go there. On this play here, Deontay Johnson is going to go up about 12, 15 yards and then cut out. Uh, he's going to be one-on-one -on -one coverage again, doesn't separate, and also kind of trips at the end of the route. This is something that I've seen quite a bit from Deontay Johnson it is the slips, the falls. I don't know if he's wearing the wrong cleats, if you know there's something wrong. But it's it's been an issue, not just this year, but for for a while now. And on here, he's going to do a ten and out. I think that New England is aware of what Deontay Johnson likes to do. They covered him well in this game. Sometimes it was double team, but a lot of times, especially towards the end, once they uh, felt that they didn't need to double team Deontay Johnson, uh, they really didn't. Just no separation there. Again, I'm not saying he's a bad receiver or he's a bum or anything like that, but this is supposed to be the king of separation. I'm not seeing it. You know, I think he may have lost a step. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. We'd appreciate that. This is one that should have been intercepted. Another, you know, out route for Deontay Johnson. The cornerback uh, undercuts it. And like I said, it should have been intercepted. On this play here, this is another out route. And on here, you're going to see number 23 for the New England Patriots pass off Deontay Johnson to eight, Juwan Bentley. Again, this is the same linebacker who doesn't have all that speed. He's going to be covering Deontay Johnson one-on-one -on -one and, and, and does an excellent job in doing so. Here's another go route. And the reason why I'm throwing these go routes out is because like right there, Deontay Johnson has somewhat of a little bit of position, but he's done a lot of go routes in this game, which is crazy for me because I think that, you know, George Pickens should be the guy doing these go routes. But during these go routes, you don't see a lot of separation there. On that last play on the fourth and two, when it's a go route then as well, I just question the decision to throw and, and the thought process there as to why Mitch Trubisky or, or any of the offensive coordinators would have thought at that moment that Deontay Johnson going deep down the sideline when he hasn't won any of those game routes was the smartest idea. He's just not leaving anybody behind. He is covered up all the way down the field. He's up there between the 20 and the 10 at the 15-yard line. I am going to show some of the things that he did do well. Uh, this is the touchdown play. And I think that this ball could have been thrown better. He is wide open here. And, you know, the ball is thrown on the inside. This is probably still a walk-in touchdown. Mr. Trubisky puts it outside. 
you know, kind of gets him to move a little bit. He still stays open, but this was his best play by far. So on this play here, Deontay Johnson's at the bottom of the screen. He's going to do a deep comeback. Just doesn't get any separation from between him and his receiver, uh, the cornerback. Here's another comeback. Now, these plays are in order. They're not every single route that Deontay Johnson ran, but they are 13 of the routes that he ran. So it's not cherry picking or, or anything like that. I wanted to show you guys that this is a consistent issue with the separation in this specific game. Here's another go route. Just covered, blanketed it. Another comeback. Now, the ball could have been thrown a little bit better in this situation here by Mitch Trubisky. I do think he was NFL open, and I think that it, this should be a routine catch and, you know, passing catch. Uh, however, the ball is not placed correctly. Deontay Johnson can't get to it. You know, like I said, I do think he's open in this play. This is NFL open. You're not going to find college open all the time. He did have quite a bit of separation prior to this year. I don't know if it's the hamstring, or I don't know if it's just he's getting closer to 30. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section what, what you guys think. And here's the final play, the fourth and two. Game on the line. You only need two yards. Allen Robinson, if you make the throw quick, and he's going to come open for the two-yard gain. Mr. Biscuit and the Pittsburgh Steelers decide that going over the top to Deontay Johnson, who hasn't really won a go route, I just question the decision. Now, on the other plays where we said that he was NFL open, he was beating his cornerback by about this distance. You know, this is a contested catch. And and we assume that if the ball was thrown right, maybe perhaps he still makes those catches and or gets in front of him. But on this situation here, you can see that the cornerback is able to close in and make a play on the ball. He may have even gotten his hands on Deontay Johnson a little early. I think so. I think this could have been easily a pass interference. See, there's no separation there. And and in my opinion, if you're going to throw up a contested ball, I would hope that the, the throw would go to the player that has the ability to make contested catches and has shown an ability to make contested catches in George Pickens. Now, I understand why George Pickens is frustrated. Yeah, he doesn't need to be acting like a child on the sideline or have to be talked to by Mike Tomlin. I just don't see why they're not utilizing him more in these type of situations. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Let me know, could George Pickens get more looks than Deontay Johnson? I think so. And when it comes to the quarterback position, you guys let me know. Is it time? We'll see you next time. Peace.